Hi, my name is Heather and I'm a marine biologist here at the National Marine Aquarium. And today we're in our coral lab. We propagate and grow out coral here in our lab to supply our display tanks. We also do some research. We've had students do dissertations. I actually did my undergrad dissertation on what kind of live food is best for coral growth. So we've got various different types of corals here. We've got some small polyp stony corals and we've also got some large polyp corals that look a bit more like anemones. Corals are super picky. They're really, really sensitive to any kind of changes in water temperature, water chemistry, in light. And that's why we have our own little area to make sure that we can make all of the conditions as perfect as we can for corals to grow in. We test the water chemistry daily here and dose chemicals accordingly. Corals are really sensitive to trace element concentration in water. So the most important things that we test for on a daily basis are alkalinity, magnesium and calcium. Coral skeletons are made out of calcium the same way that our bones are made out of calcium. So in order to grow big and strong, just like we would, they need a good amount of calcium in the water. We have cleanup crews to handle algae growth. So we have some snails, some shrimp and some fish. Corals are animals, not plants, so we can't grow them from seed like you would with a tree or a vegetable. Instead, we take cuttings from already existing colonies that we have on display and we grow them out here until they're big enough to go back on display. In the wild, coral reefs are a super important habitat. They act as a food source, shelter and nursery for so many fish species and other marine animals. That's why they're great on display here because it's a natural replication of what animals would have in the wild. The more we learn about corals in a lab environment, the more we can see how changes in our oceans are going to affect big reef systems. Because corals are so sensitive to any changes in water chemistry and temperature, they're really susceptible to being impacted by climate change. So we know the ocean is getting warmer and we know that it is getting more acidic. In the lab setting, we're lucky because we can control the temperature of the water and we can dose to prevent acidification. But in the ocean, we can't do those things. So if we make big changes now to slow or stop the changes happening on our oceans, there is hope that coral reef systems can survive. My favorite coral is the Acropora microclados that we have in this tank here and on display. Um, and they're my favorite because they're the coral that I used for my dissertation. So they have a special place in my heart. They're my babies. They've got such personalities. They do. I don't know, just look at them. And they all just look so different. I just think they're so cool. They're just a bit alien-y. Oh, I just love them.